So we're going to try another one. This time we're going to put an if and if else inside of a while loop. And uh, we're going to prompt the user for a sentence. And then we're going to count the number of words and the number of characters in their sentence. So <clears throat> I'm going to, I've already put a little bit of pseudocode in here. The first thing that we're going to do is declare some variables. Then we're going to prompt him for a sentence. I want you to notice that we're not going to, on line 46, we're prompting, but the next thing we're not doing is reading the entire sentence in. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to loop through the input one character at a time, reading that. And if the character that I, that I am reading right now is a space, that means I'm going to increment the word count. Otherwise, I'm going to increment the, in, the uh, character count. And I'm going to do this until I get to the very end of the sentence. You're going to notice on line 48, the end of the sentence is going to be an R, a backslash R. That's actually a carriage return and because a new line is made up of a carriage return line feed. The carriage return takes you back to the beginning of the sentence and the line feed drops you down to the next one. It is an old um, example straight out of typewriters because you would do a carriage return which would take your carriage all the way back to the beginning and then the line feed would um, progress your paper one line forward. So the carriage return is the first half of that new line or the carriage return line feed. That's the character we're looking for when we get to the end. And we're going to see that there's a couple of ways that we can read the single character from the keyboard. So, and then we're going to display the results. And what I want to do is ultimately display, let me circle back around and add a bit of little detail or a little bit of detail. Generally, the first thing would be, what do I want to display? And so I want to display something like characters, I don't know, 15 and we'll tab over and we'll say words is seven, something like that. That's what I want my display to look like. And the variables that we're going to need for this particular program, um, we're going to need a couple of them. We're going to need um, the char variable because we're going to read one character at a time. And then we're going to need our word count and our character count. So those are the two variables or these are the three variables that we're going to be needing. All right, so let's uh, now start filling it in. We're going to create a char variable and we'll put it, uh, how about if we call it input char and I'm going to set it to just some random character and then we're going to do an int um, word count. I'm going to set my initial word count. I'm going to initialize it to one because regardless of how many words are in an input sentence, there has to be at least one, right? There can't be zero. So I'm going to initialize that to one. I'm going to separate it from um, character count. I'm going to set my character count equal to zero. We'll start at zero as we increment those and then we're going to prompt them for a sentence. So I'll say enter a sentence. All right, so we're going to loop through the end of the sentence. So uh, we're going to use a while loop here because I don't know how many characters are in the sentence. I can't use a for loop. So we're going to use a while loop instead. And I'm going to say, um, as long as my input char is not equal to, and then that is the carriage return that we are using. We're looking for the carriage return, which is the first part of a carriage return line feed. So I have my opening curly brace. I'm going to come down here um, and we'll put my closing curly brace and I'll say end while and then I'll push that down just a little bit to make it more readable. So now I have my while loop. The next thing that we're going to do is read a single character from the keyboard. So notice instead of reading the entire sentence in with a get line, or a CN, remember CN only reads in a single word. Get line would bring it in a whole entire line. Um, so instead of reading the whole entire line in, we're gonna read one character at a time and we're gonna put it into input char. I'm gonna set it equal to um, get CH. And so what this is going to do is this gets a character um, from the keyboard. We've already used this before in our last one when we were um, exiting the program. If the number was not prime, 
we're going to use the get ch from the keyboard and then we're going to say that if it's a space we're going to increment the the word count so oops and we have to uh put our semicolon at the end of there and do you remember what we have to import with get ch i'm pretty sure it's already imported um, i'll say that this is underscore get ch the con io header is where we're is where get ch is so i'll come back down here um, i'm going to say if <clears throat> so if input char um, is equal to a space and i need a space open this up and then we're going to say word count plus plus i'm just going to increment one word count else that means otherwise i'll put my opening curly brace and we will um <clears throat> character count plus plus so if it's a space we've reached at the end of a word and we're going to increment our word count otherwise we're just going to continue incrementing our character count and i'll say that this is my end if i noticed that visual studio moved my else statement off of the same line as my closing brace, um, which is, remember, C++. For the most part, we'll ignore white space. And so it moved my else off of the closing brace to my if. All right, so there we go. <clears throat> and then the display of the results. I'm going to see if I can build the display of these results. So we're going to see out um, characters. And then that would be char count right and then I am gonna force a tab in there and I'm gonna put words and then this would be word count and then we'll just put an end line at the end of that and I think I might from the beginning of this I'm gonna actually force a new line I'm at the beginning of my display just because we don't know exactly what's going to come before that. All right, so let's give this a try. We're going to run it and see what happens. Now we're going to have to start with our prime program. And the only way that this is going to run, it will exit the program if the number is not prime. So I'm going to have to key in something that is prime so that I can finish this. So this is enter a sentence. I'm going to type in one space, two space, three. One space, two space, three. And then I'm going to press the enter key. One, two, and three. It did have three words. I'd have to count up those number of characters, but you'll notice that it didn't mirror back to the screen the words that I was typing in. You didn't see anything that I was typing in, but it obviously did type something in because it did a word count. One, two, three. And then it did a character count. I'd have to add those up in my head. So there's another way that we can read this in, to read in a single character. Um, I'm going to comment that out. And I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to say input char is equal to underscore um, get ch, lowercase ch, and then e. That e is actually going to echo. So we're going to get a character. Um, from the keyboard and we're going to echo it to the screen oops not error that's it echo i even said the word echo to the screen so that's going to be the only difference between this so instead of get the character i'm going to get the character from the keyboard and i'm going to echo it immediately back to the screen so let me run this one more time Once again, I did have to put in a prime number so I can get to the sentence. I'm going to say one space, two space, three. So this is getting each one of those characters and echoing back, echoing them back to the screen. And then when I press enter, there you go. I have my three words, 12 characters. I must have mistyped it the first time because I couldn't see what I was keying in. So let's run it again. Another prime number. Do I know? How many prime numbers do I know? 23. So I'm going to say this is a sentence. I can tell you straight up that this should be four words. I'd have to count those number of characters. And it is capturing each one, returning it to the screen for me. 
and it gave me a character count and a word count. 